Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. There's one additional very useful organizational option for media Quite a common scenario is to end up importing footage whereby you have a number of clips that are very long. So you might know that, the, for example, you have a certain soundbite within your 20 minute long interview clip, but then when you come to want to find that soundbite, you then have to search through the entire 20 minutes again to find it. So at the start of your edit, before you start editing clips down into a sequence, you can do one additional simple thing that allows you to find sections of a longer clip and save them out as essentially new clips in your project with unique names. This process is known as subclipping. I'm just going to go into and open up by double clicking a bin that has my main bits of footage in. And I'm going to switch to list view and I'm just going to click on media duration and just view these from longest to shortest. So you can see here, look, there's a 26 minute long clip and a 19 minute long clip here. So let's um, open up one of those. You double click on the icon for a clip and it will open the clip up in this window here which is known as the source monitor. Now the source monitor itself allows you to play and preview through the clip. There's a playhead at the bottom here and an area that you can click in to either jump the playhead through the clip or click and drag the playhead through the clip. You will also hear audio for the clip as you do so. I'm actually just going to mute the audio so this doesn't get in the way. So you open the relevant clip up, you go through and you find a relevant shot. So I'm gonna go through the clip by dragging the playhead through. I'm gonna find the mid shot here of David talking on the microphone and I'm going to set this as a separate sub clip within my project. Now to do this, I first of all need to find the start of the mid shot. So I've dragged the playhead through approximately. I'm just gonna fine tune this and I'm gonna mark the start of that section of the clip by setting an in point. Now there's two main ways of setting an in point. I can use the set in point button here in the source monitor or use the keyboard shortcut for set in point which is I for in. This then sets an in point marker at the playhead position. If I'm not happy with that I can move the playhead and I can hit I again and it will just update the in point to wherever my playhead is. I'm just going to then scrub through and find the end of that section, so about here. And I'm going to mark the end of that section of the clip by setting an out point marker. And I do that by either hitting the out point marker button here in the source monitor or using the keyboard shortcut for out point, which is O for out. Again, like the in point, it creates an out point marker at the playhead position. And if I want a different frame, I just move that and hit O again and it will reset that marker. So in my clip now, I now have an in marker and an out marker and a portion of the clip selected. Rather than now editing that clip down onto my timeline though, what I want to do is save that portion of the clip out as a sub clip. To do this, I keep the source monitor selected. I go to the clip menu and choose make sub clip. This will then open up a dialog box where I can give my sub clip a name and I'm going to click OK. Just before I do though, just to mention the restrict trims to subclip boundaries, what this means is with this on, when I use the subclip, if I try to extend the clip, it will not let me extend the footage beyond the in and the out point that I've currently set there. If I turn that off, I can if I need to access the entire clip again, the entire media, so the entire 20 minute long clip. I'm going to click OK. What it then does is it creates a new clip in the same bin as the original clip with my unique name. The icon is slightly different to a normal clip. It has a little in and out markers on it, but it effectively works like any other master clip in my project. If I double click on it and open it up separately, and we have a little look, there's the entire clip. If 
I just scrub through it to save a bit of time. Can you see look that's the section that I in and out pointed. So now when I need to get and find the shot of David talking quickly, I've got a named clip with just that footage in. So what I would quite commonly do is go through the rest of this clip, find key parts of the clip, make subclips, name them, maybe then organize them into separate bins as well. And when I come to start my edit, I can find the shots I need very, very quickly. Thank you.